Vincent, many congratulations. A 6-0 whitewash over Joe Cullen and a fairly routine game for yourself. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm happy really with... Uh, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think I played that well, but yeah, Joe is really struggling and, and you have to take advantage. That's the most important thing. The, the, the game is brutal and uh, I've done that. We saw you at the end talking. What was Joe saying? Was there a breeze or something on the stage, was he saying? No, for, for me there was no breeze, but um, I felt a, a, a lot of difference between the practice room and the stage. But I, I can't say it's one or the other was right. Uh, but I think there was something wrong. But then it's again, a after a 6 0 win, you can't complain a lot. <laughs> it's a venue that you know well. Your Euro Tour victory was here. What, what is it about this arena that seems to bring out the best in you? I, I don't know if it brings the best out of me. It brings the worst out of Joe, that's for sure. That, <laughs> so, yeah. it, I'm, I'm not that sensitive about venues or anything. Really. It's, as long as I'm playing well, I know I can, I can do a lot of damage to any player in the world. But it's all about me. I have to be, be prepared and play well. Speaking of you playing well, you've been on a good run of form. You had a good match play, a very steady autumn series and a win here. Do you feel you're finding some consistency at last? Well, I'm playing better than, than I... It of, I have been for a long time, but um, so um, Corona is the worst thing in the world. I, I know that, but for me, probably it has been good because it set me back and, and made me realize I have to practice more, live more for my sport and do more for my sports in, instead of just traveling and playing and, and be miserable about by my game. and instead of just now, now every time to practice and get my head right. And, and I think um, I'm ready to go for now for, uh, for, uh, for many years. Speaking about being miserable and getting people's head right, after the Premier League, how much did it take to get Michael in a good frame of mind? Because we know he always comes to you when he's struggling. And after the Premier League, what was that conversation like with him? No, we have a couple of very hard conversations. I don't think, I mean... Uh, he was struggling in the Premier League, but he's always struck. He's at the moment he's more struggling with his mindset than with anything else. He's been so good. He's won so many things, but he took it for granted at one point, and now he has to realize that every morning he wakes up at a pro tour or whatever, he has to be on his A game to win a game and to win a tournament. And and if he's not willing to do that, he has to realize he's not number one in the world anymore. And and, and, and that sounds probably really harsh, but it's the way it is. We have got so much, so many uh, amazing players in, uh, in the PDC now. It's not like you have five, six, you got 40, 50 who can beat him when he's on 90%. And he has to realize that he has to do everything he can to be the number one in the world. And if he doesn't want to, he has to, yeah, he has to realize then he's probably number 10 or 20 in the world in two, in two, four years. Do you think he has realised that now? Do you think it's sunk in? You never know, eh? He's got a big <laughs> skull, so <laughs> it doesn't get through very easy. But <laughs> I mean, you have to say that he's really stubborn. And, and we all like that. So you have to tell him that every time. And you have to say in the morning. I, I saw him play um, the third Pro Tour of the week. And in the morning, he was so eager to win that he won. And then the next day, he woke up late, he was late at practice, he was late at everything, and he lost. So you know when something goes wrong. wrong. And he has to realize he has to do more than anybody else in the world, because everybody expects from him um, 100 plus averages. If Michael wins with 94 average, everybody says he's played crap. And so he has to realize he has to do more than he, what, he, what he has done lately. Vincent, congratulations, mate, and a pleasure as always. No problem, man. Bye bye. Thank you, Amy. Vincent, well played tonight. Thank you me. mentioned about um, coronavirus and not taking things for granted. Um, how nice is it to be back playing in front of a crowd and, and have the fans singing your name as you walked out? Oh, that's great, really. Um, to, to play in front of a crowd is, is just, uh, yeah, makes you feel really good. I mean, that's what uh, darts is all about. People love pl uh, coming to darts. And, and see darts and, 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 and go to darts. And, and, and for the last seven, eight, nine months, it, it's, it's not happening. So yeah, um, I think people are blessed to be here and to be uh, at this event. 
And just looking ahead to Samori Butko and Price, who won back-to-back uh, awesome series titles, do you think having a game on that stage and, and getting used to playing in front of the crowd again might benefit you tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, every day is different. I have to prepare myself for the best. And, and, and if I'm in a game, and if I can, I can uh, work myself in a game, i got a shot against anybody. I mean, I beat everybody in the world, but they also beat me many times. So um, it's, it's, it's all about me. I have to prepare myself. I have to do whatever it takes to be the best I can be tomorrow. Brilliant. Thanks, Vincent. Cheers. Okay. Josh? Uh, Vincent, after the World Match Play, you're obviously a very good tournament down in Milton Keynes. Do you believe you're in a, a good position to really qualify for lots of the majors coming into, in, later into the year? Um, at some, um, some major, I mean, the Worlds, I'm looking good and for the, the play Championship, but for like uh, the, the Grand Slam, I'm not in. So I have to be coming to the final here. So that's a goal, of course. And uh, for the European Championship, yeah, I only have one shot because there are four um, tournaments there. So I have to do really well there. So it's not like uh, it's easy, but. I will try my best. I will work hard to, to be the best man I can.